first, excuse my handwriting, I had to use a stylus to handwrite the question. The question is, or here's the situation. Dan had four times as many pencils as Sally. Together, they had 20 pencils. How many pencils did Dan have? To help solve this problem, we're going to draw a model. So I'm going to start with Sally. And she had a certain number of pencils, which we don't know how many she had, so I'm going to put the letter N in for the number of pencils Sally has. Dan had four times as many pencils as Sally, so for Dan, he has four times that, so I have to draw four squares, and again, I don't know how many are in each group, so I'll put an N inside each of the squares. They both have a total of 20 pencils. So if you look at how many groups I have, Sally has one, Dan has four, so that makes a total of five groups, which equals 20 pencils. So that means that I can say that five groups of N equals 20 pencils. So I have to think, 5 times what equals 20? Okay, I can figure out that 5 times 4 equals 20. So that means that n has to equal 4. So that means that Sally at n equals 4 pencils. Now, um, the question is asking, how many pencils did Dan have? So I have to see that Dan has four groups of N. So I have to take four groups of four, because N equals four, which will equal 16. So Dan had 16 pencils. Thanks for watching. I hope the video helped. And remember, you have nothing for tomorrow, which can be done today.